Okie dokie. In this video, I'm talking about uh, VirtualBox guest editions and how much of a pain it can be sometimes to um, get it working. So, um, just going to be going over some of the settings I've found, which um, which enable it to, you know, have your full screen resolution without installing guest editions. So. This is this might look familiar to anyone who uses uh, VirtualBox, um, where you have to go into um, your machine settings, which are down here, um, and then click on devices, and then uh, insert the guest editions uh, image, um, which is here. That guest edition CD image, um, and I found on um, my current up uh, my current sort of rig that that doesn't work it doesn't work at all i tried many different settings um went through lots of forums didn't really find anything conclusive um it was until uh, i saw a video from um someone who i can't think of right now but i will link the video in the description um which basically just goes over some uh, additional options which um have enabled it for me so if we just close this down now we'll go to the settings so in uh, settings for the machine here so uh, I did find that a lot of um, uh, like forum posts were saying use this uh, vbox svga and even when that was enabled for me um, uh, and it says you've got an invalid setting here um, which is also a bit disconcerting but um, click OK on this um, that didn't work for me, but um, what did was when uh, so I went back to the settings again. Make that our displays on this VBox SVGA still was in the uh, system um, processor, depending on how much you've got available to to, to give your VM. There's these two features here for uh, physical address extension and uh, this one here, which isn't showing the IntelliSense for some reason. Um, nested hardware virtualization as well so just checking those two and um, sorry let's go back again so <laughs> checking um, those two on the processor and then in a display having vbox svga enabled um, means that we can start up and uh, go full screen so if I do um, the right control key and F go full screen for me and then yeah, I get my my VM in beautiful full screen mode. So there you go. I can start playing about with uh, elementary OS now, doing things on there. That's it. That's the video. I uh, hope you found it helpful. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.